guys, it's Amber. So today I created this Valentine's Day look for you. Very purple, bold, smoky eye. I really hope you like it. Let's be honest, if you are single on Valentine's Day, it does not matter, okay? You can be single, you can mingle, you can do whatever the hell you want. You can stay in bed, you can eat ice cream or chocolate. Don't put a full face of makeup on. You can do whatever the hell you want because who run the world? You know the answer to that one. I'm not saying that you have to go super bold for your makeup look and I'm not saying that for Valentine's Day you have to wear makeup at all. Valentine's Day is a day to just share and spread love. I thought it would be a fun idea to give you inspiration for a look if you wanted to wear makeup on Valentine's Day so that's exactly what I've done. If you take any inspiration for this please let me know and leave it in the comments below or tag me in a picture. All my social media links are in the description box below as always. So if you want to know how I created this look keep on watching. So I'm first going to be starting off by priming my eyes. To do that I'm going to be using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and then I'm going to be blending that out with my sponge. I'm going to set my eyes quickly before any creasing happens to set my eyes. I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder and then I'm just going to be using my powder puff. Now to start off with my eyes, I'm going to be taking this gorgeous palette from Chi Chi and I'm just going to be using this shade right here and that is going to go in my crease as my transition shade. And to do that, I'm going to be using my Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. It just looks like this, a nice big fluffy brush. Now I'm just going to be taking this brown underneath the color we just used, a nice muted brown that's going to go through my crease. Now that we have that brown on, I'm going to be taking this more warm orange shade that's also going to go in my crease, outer corner and inner corner. We're going to do a bit of a halo eye. to make things a little bit more of a pinky tone I'm going to take this color right here and I'm just going to be popping that in my crease outer corner and inner corner like we just did with the other shade Now I'm going to be taking my Zoeva 227 Lux Soft Definer Brush, it just looks like this. I'm going to be taking this around the perimeter of the eyeshadow to help blend it out. Next I'm going to be taking my Chi Chi OMFG palette and I'm just going to be dipping into the dark purple in the palette which is right here. And I'm going to be taking a different brush. I'm using my Zoeva Tricky Round Lux Petite Crease. So it's fluffy, but it's a bit more tapered. And I'm just going to be taking this color right in the crease, outer corner and inner corner. I know this might look a little crazy right now and unblended, but it's all about layering. So the next thing I'm going to do is take the OMFG palette again and I'm going to be taking this warm orangey shade. 
Now I'm going to be putting that above the purple where our crease line is to help blend this colour out. Just want to give it a nice fade between the purple and the orangey tones in the pink. Oh, and I'm using my Zoeva 224 Luxe Define Crease Brush. It just looks like this. Now I'm just going to be taking my Luxe Crease Brush that I used before with the same pink tone on it from the Aphrodite palette and just going to be going back over my eye to help blend everything out and I'm probably going to go in and intensify the purple again so if you feel like you need to also do that too. Now that we have that all blended out, I'm going to go in with a darker colour on my outer corner to make it look a little bit more smoky. So to do that, I'm going to use, I'm going to be using this darker, more purpley toned eyeshadow down here. And I'm going to be using my Zoeva 230 Luxe Pencil Brush, just looks like this. Very tapered, very fine, because we are going right in our outer corner, we don't want this eyeshadow obviously everywhere. going back in with that brush we used the pebble on and just pat to help blend that colour through. Now that we have that all blended out I'm going to be taking a nice shimmery shade in the middle of my eye. To put the shimmery shade on I'm going to be using my Zoeva 226 smudger brush. It just looks like this. It's a nice flat dense brush. And I'm going to be putting this warm gold tone on in the middle of my eyes. I've just actually changed brushes. I'm going to use a synthetic brush. This is the Aesa by Kryolan Lip Brush. I'm going to use this because the other brush I just used was taking the eyeshadow off from underneath. So I've just wet my brush a little bit and now I'm going to put the pigment on. Oh, that's so much better. I'm just going back in with this brush and the purple shade to help blend everything out. Now that we have finished our eyes, I'm going to go in with a cotton pad with some micellar water on it and I'm just going to clean up the fallout. Now I've just got a cotton bud with my cellar water on it and I'm just going to get right in there under my eyes to clean up and help sharpen this line on at my outer corner. Now we would move on to foundation. I'm not going to redo my foundation in this video as I'm doing a first impressions and review on a foundation in a separate video. So you'll be able to see me do my foundation in that. However, I feel like applying foundation is a pretty simple and easy thing to do. I mean, if you do have problems with it, obviously leave it in the comments below and I can help you out with any problems you are having. However, I'm not going to be applying it in this video. So yes, I have done my foundation. I have done my bronzer. It's because I am also filming another video at this time that will be up after this video you're watching currently. So the next thing I'm going to do is apply some blush. Just going to be using my trusty NYX Apricot Blush and my Aesa by Kryolan Angled Blush Brush. I don't want to put too much blush on. Now I'm just going to be taking my Zoeva 237 Detail Shader and I'm going to be using the same pink that we used on our top eye and I'm going to be applying that to my lower lash line. Now I'm just going to go back to my OMFG palette and take that purple colour and I'm just going to be taking that on the outer half of my lower lash line, just to darken up. Now I'm going to be taking that synthetic brush again with a bit of the gold. I'm just going to be putting that in the middle of my lower lash line. 
that is our eyes completely finished. So I'm going to jump off of camera and put some mascara on and some lashes on. You can also, if you feel like it, put some winged eyeliner on. I am personally going to leave it like this. I love how smoky it looks, but it's up to you whether you put um, winged eyeliner on. Okay, so I'm not going to lie, I'm not the best at applying lashes, but I did the best I could. Obviously, things take time to learn, and the better you practice something, the better you will get at doing that thing. So I'm not going to lie, I'm not the best at lashes, they might look a little bit iffy, but I've done the best. And if you don't want to wear lashes, you don't have to wear lashes. But I decided I was going to put some on, so I tried putting some on. So this is the best I'm going to get. <laughs> so I decided to do my lashes, mascara, and I did my eyebrows. I thought I'd be nice and save the highlighting to do on camera, because I know people love seeing that. I am personally one of those people that love seeing highlighter be put on. So today, for highlighter, I'm going to be using my Chi Chi Celestial Glow Illuminating Palette. This is a very Chi Chi like inspired look. Inspired? Branded. Something. So I'm just going to be taking the shade Moon, which is this one up here. And I'm going to be taking my Real Techniques Bulb Metals Brush in the number 200. I might actually bit mix it with a bit of Uranus, which is the one underneath. So I'll take those two. Right, I'm going to start off with my nose. Oh, so gorgeous. Absolutely love Chi Chi's highlighters. Right, I'm just going to do my cupid's bow. A little bit above my eyebrow. Now I'm going to use those same two colours and go on my cheekbones. Oh, that's so pretty. And I'm just going to go like below my brow. Go below and below my brow. <laughs> These highlighters are super pigmented, so like, be careful with them. Like, I have not put a lot on my brush, and already it's just gorgeous. I'm also going to put this on my inner corners. I've just grabbed a smaller brush. This is the Real Techniques Accent Brush. Right, now that our highlight is on and I'm looking glowing, I'm going to be choosing a lip colour. So I'm just going to be using my BH Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Serena. Just looks like this, it's already on my lip. Because I feel like this colour is a little bit too pink and I also don't want my lips to be super matte, I'm going to be applying my Maybelline New York Elixir Lip Gloss in the shade Morph Mystic. It just looks like this. That's dry, I'm just going to be applying the lip gloss. So I just feel like that lip gloss tones it down a bit and makes the uh, colour underneath look a bit more like on the purpley side, as this obviously is kind of more purple undertoned. So this, guys, is the completed look. So this is the finished look guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Also leave me a comment below to let me know if you recreated this look, I would absolutely love to know. All my social media links will be in the description box as always, again thank you so much for watching, bye!